guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to football view if you're new here you know what to do subscribe and hit that notification bell as the finals nigeria versus host nation ivory coast today we're talking about that game the preview for that game today this evening hmm, it's going to be an interesting game because everyone is looking forward to that final because the build up to the final has been very dramatic and very climatic very interesting so everyone is actually looking forward to that game me as a nigerian forget about the fact that i'm marrying a ghana jersey me as a nigerian i'm looking forward to that game so subscribe if you haven't and hit that notification bell before we get into the video if you don't know that let's get into it so coming into this game uh honestly i didn't expect every coach to get this far they changed their coach the mentality changed they now play with passion they now relish their fans i think they think they changed in the style of play even when they're not playing well the fans motivate them i think the new coach told them that guys look we are playing in front of our fans we just need to bask in your support we just need to use the support as a you know fuel to parachute us to where we want to be and that's what happened you see whenever they are playing the fans are loudest the fans are very very supportive every tackle is being applauded by the fans every pass is being applauded by the fans every shot is being applauded by the fans and that is what nigeria will have to face this evening when they face um ivory coast in the finals of the tournament in abidjan now looking forward to that game i feel that ivory coast have changed they are now a different team from that um, team that lost against Equatorial Guinea, I think 4-0 or 3-0. They are now very different. Everyone is giving their 100%. They are now understanding each other. They know when to make runs. They will know when to make the passes, tackles, interceptions. We have Willy Boli and Ndika and the defense playing very well. We have Kessie in the midfield doing wonders. Hala just came in late and has started uh, making a difference in the attack. You see, everything is working for them at the right moment and going to this final everyone feel that if they are the favorites me personally i feel that with the support i recruits have they are the favorites in this game so nigeria will have to do all they can will have to be in their best behavior today if they want to beat Ivory Coast to win that trophy. Nigeria want to win that, we know, but they have to be at their best if they really, really want to beat Ivory Coast in this game. Now let's talk about the Nigerian team. We saw how they started. They started really badly with their 1-1 one -one draw against Equatorial Guinea when they struggled in attack and all that. But they started getting the results, getting the one goal, scoring the goals and getting crucial wins, making sure that they stop opposition from scoring and the only i think after that equatorial guinea game the only game they considered was the last game against south africa at a penalty and uh, south africa scored in the last game so defensively Nigeria has been compact and that is what that will, that's the thing that will give them momentum and you know confidence going to this game because they know that they are very very good defensively through Ekong, uh Semia Jai, calvin basi uh Olaina, all of them they have been very good the midfield frank Onyeka, the only, the only thing about Nigeria midfield is that if from Kunyeka is tired, there's a big problem because we have seen that uh, in, the, in the coming in the, in the past games we've seen that Al Hassan and um, um, Aribo coming into the game didn't have any impact in the midfield because no one can do what Frank Kunyeka does for the Nigerian Super Eagles midfield. That is why whenever he's not on form or whenever he's tired, the midfield struggle. We saw that against South Africa. So he needs more help in that midfield. I personally think he needs more help in that midfield. And that is something I because we'll have to explore. We'll be looking to explore that midfield because without Frank Munyeka, if Frank Munyeka is tired or occupied, then German midfield is open. And South Africa explored that very well, but exploited that very well, but they couldn't actually get the win against Nigeria. They almost did, but they didn't. Then we talk about the attack. Nigerian attack has been very good. Osimen has now on Osimen is now understanding his two wingers, Ademola Lokman and Moses Simon, that been playing very well, creating a lot of chances. Some of them missed, some of them scored. So I feel that uh, they have to be at their best if they really want to get something against Ivory Coast. So it's going to be an interesting, interesting game. Hala versus um, Trust Ekong. Trust Ekong will be tasked to hold Hala. Then we have um, Nika Willibuli holding Victor Osimen. Then we have um, uh, Frank Onyeka, Kesi in the midfield. That is all we are going to expect in this game to give us the drama, to give us everything we need in this game. I'm very excited and I can't wait for that game. So going to this game, I feel that 
Africans are actually favorites, but I'm hoping that Nigeria will hold on and snatch a 1 0 victory against Ivory Coast. Yes, my prediction and for this game is that Nigeria will beat Ivory Coast 1 0 in this game to win the Afghan trophy. Mind you, Ivory Coast are favorites. It is not easy for a host nation to lose the final. They are favorites. So I am expecting them to be very, very tough opponents for Nigeria, but I'm expecting Nigeria to beat Ivory Coast 1 0 to win that trophy. I would like to know your thoughts. Who do you think will win or lift the trophy? And I would also like to know your predictions in the comment section. Tell me what you think. I also feel that Nigeria has all it takes to beat Ivory Coast, but it's going to be difficult. Tell me what you think in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't. Till next time, guys. Goodbye.